On the road back to normal, jury trials will soon resume, giving suspects behind bars their day in court and residents assembled for jury duty. New specialist Garner Mejia is live from the 3rd District Court in Salt Lake City, where a pilot program is being used to help get back to business. So, Garner, how's this going to work? Yeah, good evening, Dave. Well, Utah courts say they figured out a system that will allow them to get back inside, be able to get through those jury trials, but do so in a safe way. Now, they're starting off with criminal trials that will only last one to two days. If a juror gets sick, they're bringing in substitutes that will be able to keep going from there. So instead of eight jurors, they'll be selecting 11, but they're doing lots of other things to keep everyone safe. We're quite excited about this. We've had a lot of jury trials that have been languishing and it's absolutely killing us. Criminal jury trials are resuming with the COVID safe pilot program in third district court. So now that we're getting the train back on the tracks, if you will. Third district presiding judge Mark Kors says they have the green light from health officials. They've all kind of blessed what we've done, explained to us that, you know, it's a, it's an issue of layers here. We can never make everything 100% safe, but we could get very close to that by layering all the things. They're starting off by limiting in-person contact to trial day, making the jury selection process digital with COVID jury survey sent out last week. It's, it's been three business days and we have about 2,100 people. Then on trial day, everyone entering the courthouse is required to take and pass a rapid COVID test. Then they're brought upstairs uh, in clumps of fours. Uh, so they're not together. Once inside the courtroom, you can expect social distancing, plexiglass on the witness stand, an enhanced air filtration system, and jurors sitting eight feet apart. Access is limited with the live stream for the public. The first jury trials are for those behind bars. Our focus now are folks that are being held uh, in jail that, that want their day in court. Now, the pilot program kicks off on January 25th here in 3rd District Court. Then in February, it'll start up in Duchesne. Now, the judge did say that if a defendant or one of his attorneys tests positive for COVID, that would throw the trial, making it 